Madagascar. And from the snow caps of Alaska. Until in every race. Speaking every tongue. A knowledge of God might shine like a light in a dark world. It was a day of celebration. Madagascar, Lord's voice. Dignitaries from around the island nation of Madagascar, along with World Christian Broadcasting supporters from the U.S., gathered to dedicate the long-awaited radio station in the Indian Ocean region. Sister station KNLS in Alaska since 1983 has brought great music, current news, and the good news to countless listeners across China. Russia. Сегодня мы обратим свой взор на библейского персонажа. And the Pacific Rim. This is your new life station. Now, Madagascar World Voice brings the gospel message to Africa, Europe, South America, and Southwest Asia, including India. World Christian Broadcasting now has two stations that broadcast programming that has the good news of Jesus Christ as its core message. Two stations, one message. The two stations, Alaska Station, KNLS, broadcasts three language services, Chinese, Russian, and English. Madagascar World Voice broadcasts in those three languages and three more. Arabic, known as Radio Feta, Feta is an Arabic word for redemption. Spanish, known as La Voz Alegre, which means the happy voice. Por supuesto que así es. En Ezequiel capítulo 36, verso 26. English for Africa, known to listeners as African Pathways Radio. Henry, you are blowing your vuvuzela again. What's the occasion? This is the first anniversary week of African Pathways Radio. Edit, we started our programs this time last year with Vuvuzela Blasts. Okay, okay. I think I hear radios all over the world switching to another station. <laughs> <laughs> as hard as it may be for those of us in the West to believe in our time of modern communication, that there are huge areas of the world that do not get consistent exposure to the gospel message. One such area is the poverty-stricken 1040 region. The area between 40 degrees north latitude and 10 degrees south latitude. Studies show that less than one half of 1% of the total resources of Western churches are used to minister to this part of the world. This same portion of the world includes within it large areas that have limited or no access to television and the internet. What they do have is access to shortwave radio. Shortwave signals travel long distances by skipping off the atmosphere. It's definitely broadcasting in the broadest sense of the word. Our programs can be picked up on battery operated and even hand cranked receivers in the remotest parts of the planet. The world has three billion shortwave sets. One billion are turned on at any given time. And each receiver has an average of three people listening. We can introduce the gospel to an astonishing number of people who know little or nothing about Jesus Christ. Did you know that during this year, we've heard from listeners in Germany, United Arab Emirates, Britain, Japan, 
Sweden, Venezuela, India, Australia, Latvia, Cyprus, New Zealand, Norway, Indonesia, China, and Greece, and in Canada, Commercial radio stations often rely on ratings and focus groups to find out how their programming is received. We rely on listener mail, both postal and electronic. Give a listen. Dear radio station KNLS, it is not for the first time that I listen to your programs and I like them more and more. It is especially pleasant that they are produced not only for believers. I listen to the broadcasting of other foreign stations. But I did not like them because of their bad Russian and the manner of announcing. I got tired after the first five minutes. Your Russian is great and correct from grammar point of view. I do not belong to any church, but I wish I did. In spite of this, I tried to live like a Christian. This year I've corresponded several times with a Mr. Guo in Xi'an, China. In his first letter, he stated, I'm a faithful listener to the Chinese programs on KNLS. I've been listening for a long time, but I've never written to your station. Today, however, I'm courageous enough to write you and express from thousands of miles away a faithful listener's heart. By listening to your radio broadcast, I started to know about Christianity, Jesus, and the Bible. Now I have become a believer in this religion. This has been a great year. Roberto Moreno responded to our program from Havana, Cuba. A few months ago we were in Havana, Cuba and I got to church after corresponding with him quite a bit and the members came rushing out of the congregation saying, your visitor's here. And he had been listening to our radio program from Madagascar. But not only that, he was listening to us from the KNLS out of Alaska. Those two signals crossing Havana, who would have ever imagined? Getting to that one person is the most important thing that we have in our hearts. I got this email from a listener from Algeria. I really enjoy listening to your daily shows. I find them very informative. Listening to them was a great way to get to know Christ's religion of love and peace. This letter from an education employee of the state government of Bengal, India. I just love to listen to the English broadcast of Madagascar World Voice. Madagascar World Voice inspires me by telling me true story from Bible. To me, Madagascar World Voice is the best source of knowledge about the supreme authority and the Savior Jesus Christ. After listening to your programs, I have just began to love God. And this letter from Tokyo. I am happy that I can listen to 80s, 90s, and new nice pop songs. She tells him, ooh, love, no one's ever gonna hurt you, love. KNLS does not feel the angularity of a Christian broadcasting station. I can listen willingly. By the way, angular means stiff in character or manner, lacking smoothness or grace, in case our Japanese listener knows an English word that you don't. At least he knows what we're not. You just heard listener letters from some of our six language departments. Paul read one each from our English broadcasts on KNLS and Madagascar World Voice. The letter from the listener in India includes additional details about the hour he heard. The listener mentioned a report about the death of a Hollywood actress, an American highway segment about the Bluestone River in West Virginia, a report about evidence of the intelligence behind the creation of the universe, our free Bible giveaway, a Journeys in Faith segment about Mary, the mother of Jesus, and her dedication to be God's servant, an interview with a recovered gambling addict, and pop music songs by current international artists. Just as a Christian school offers more than just Bible courses so that students will attend, so we offer programming that has more than just Bible lessons so that listeners, the vast majority of whom are unchurched, will tune in. Having said that, our core message is the gospel of Jesus Christ. While we want our listeners to care enough to listen, our mission is to let them know why they should care about who Jesus is and what he has to say. 
Our senior producers share new and recent program segments which are designed to show our listeners that we care about them. This is to attract non-believers and to deliver our core message of hope in Jesus Christ. Souter and Friends is a long-running series on the International English Hour. Recently, host Larry Souter started a class at Madison Church of Christ called Stories of Amazing Grace. Larry has made these life-changing interviews available to listeners of your new life station. This as a part of the Souter and Friends series. One of my favorite Proverbs in the Bible is 16.9. It says, in his heart a man plans his way, but it's the Lord who directs his steps. My parents are both from Russia, from the Ukraine. My uh, father was in the Russian army at World War II. My mother was a school teacher. My father was captured by the German army. My mother, uh, part of the refugees that were drawn back after the Germans retreated out of the Ukraine and they met each other in Germany. And uh, that's where I was born, my sister and I. We've added a lot of Arabic programs recently, such as Our Daily Bread, Christ, the Living Water, and A Thought in a Minute. Здравствуйте, уважаемые радиослушатели! Сегодня... One of the newest programs in Russian language department for this year is Family Conflict Resolution, written by Damir Kramerik, a Christian brother and PhD in family psychology. We do have a new series starting this year, featuring John Erig called the Bible for Children series. Every episode opens with a father sitting under a story tree with his children to tell a Bible story. John plays all the Bible characters as well as the father and the children in this series. We've been recording a new program called Real Life, produced and written by Jose Castillo. It's a blessing to be able to talk about Jesus and his concept of true happiness. And so we're trying to convey to the world what, and our listeners, what real happiness is and where it comes from. ¿Y qué es la, eh, la relación de la pureza de corazón con la felicidad? Ah, dice la palabra de Dios ahí en la bienaventuranza que being el happy de corazón really comes from being pure in heart. Tell me, Jose, the pure heart, does that begin with God? It does. It doesn't begin with man, even if man wanted to. Jan Self became a Christian in China and later married an American who was teaching there. Most of the time it was me, and he does cook too. So. How many years you have got married? They now live in Tennessee, so Edward Ho interviewed Jan about her marriage, giving our listeners in China an inside look at a Christian home. Um. I almost put up with him for eight years. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's one thing special about your husband, different from the Chinese husbands. Mm -hmm. Can you tell our listeners what that is? Uh, he's American. American right. husband and Chinese wife. I'm sure there are tons of challenges in your communication. Mm -hmm. Can you share one with us? One time he asked me, uh, Hey, honey, you want some oatmeal? I'm like, uh, no, mm -mm. I don't want some oat milk. I'm like, uh, oat milk? No. I said, but oat milk is really good for you. We eat like almost every day, Americans, you know? I'm like, uh, no, we don't drink that stuff here in China. We don't drink oat milk. He goes, so we back and forth and back and forth and finally, oh, okay, you mean oat meal. You know, after like almost, we know each other. Thanks to you, our supporters, we now have two state-of-the-art radio stations, Station KNLS in Alaska and Madagascar World Voice, with production facilities in Franklin, Tennessee. Shortwave radio has the ability to reach nations like North Korea, where less than 1% of the population has internet access. Nations like China, Vietnam, and Sudan have increased their use of shortwave radio and even taken over shortwave stations that have been abandoned by Western broadcasters. In the near future, we hope to add broadcasts in French, Portuguese, and Korean. About 300 million people speak French worldwide. Portuguese is the main language in Brazil, which has a population of 200 million, and Korea has a population of 75 million, 50 million in South Korea, and 25 million 
in the Communist North. Some of our broadcasts can be heard on the internet for those who have access. And for smartphone users, and that's a lot of us worldwide, our IT guys are working to make our websites and webcasts more smartphone friendly. But the technology means nothing unless we use it to bring our listeners the message of hope in Jesus Christ. And we need your continued support. World Christian Broadcasting exists so that people in places best served by broadcast media become aware of the good news of Jesus Christ and want to know more. Two stations, one message. We thank you for your prayers. We thank you for your support. And may God bless you. Could you, could you comment this transmission from Alaska to Portland, please? Well, it's supposed to go opposite direction. I don't know why he's receiving it here. <laughs> Konstantin Chernoshenko, I, I, heard his, I heard his voice on the short wave. It's a miracle. Praise the Lord. Great. Strong signal. Yeah. On the daily basis. Странно очень. 